Welcome to Ahead of the Game, the Rugby World Cup 2019 prediction show, and we're coming to you from the beautiful Pirnev's Kral venue in Linwood, Pretoria. Tonight we're going to talk a bit of rugby, we're going to talk about the game against Italy, and of course the upcoming game against Canada. But first off, well done and congratulations to Bev Clark for winning that amazing Megamaster Granite Edition Gas Bry to the value of 7999. And you're going to have a chance to win one as well a bit later in the show. First off, my esteemed guests I want to welcome. Stephanie Bartman, actress, singer, TV personality, mama, all those things. Mm. Welcome. All right. Thank you. It's so nice to be here. Are you ready to talk a bit of rugby? I'm ready to learn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm excited. <laughs> Don't worry, me too. Cool. <laughs> Our rugby panel tonight, Ross Grunier, welcome. Thank you very much. And Richard Bands, good evening. Yeah, thanks. Lucky to be here. Yeah. I hope you guys are ready to chat a bit of rugby. I think we should uh, just uh, go into it and talk uh, Italy, South Africa. How, how did you guys find the game? Was it was some some uncontested scrums, etc.? It was a it was to my mind a bit of a bland game, but not that I, I'm anything to go by. What do you think? Yeah, well, I'm gonna hand over to Richard over here. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, he, he, he loves yes. talking about scrums, and I think <laughs> I think that's a, a big topic to to be spoken about today. So, Rich, do you want to add your two cents here? Well, I didn't watch the last twenty because there was no scrums. Yes. So, so <laughs> Good. So look, I, yeah. um, look I, I think the box going in with a 6-2 split on the bench, uh, the Italians knew they were in for a big day, half a uh, scrums, line out, line out malls. So you, you, you need to think whether it was a, a strategy, mm, might have been. you know, you know, an injury, you know, I think the, 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 the Ferrari that warmed up, you know, three minutes in, a breakdown, yeah. you know, so it's not good for the brand. Yes, <laughs> rather <laughs> trust the yeah, uh, Volkswagen. Yeah, 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 I'm not f- getting paid to say this. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, uncontested scrums. You know, is it, was it a tactic? Was it not? We don't know. Um, but but you know, the, the wheel turns, and 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 they got a, a red card out of that. You know, so so it's karma. justice. Karma, karma, karma. Exactly. Yeah, karma. <laughs> So yeah, look, it wasn't a game that was. I was sitting at the edge of my seat, you know. So it was, but you know, guys, we tick the box and it's it's one down, another one to go. So we're making strides, and you know, it was a good win. Uh, absolutely, I think in the end we needed the five points, and that what that's what we got from it. Uh, again, a lot of kicking going on, Ross. Now we just uh, sort of quickly touched touched on this. Uh, People tend to, obviously, and nowadays it's easy for, for everybody like myself uh, to go on to social media or wherever and give our, give our comments about a game, which is great because you get to connect with the players, you get to connect with the teams. Um, there was a lot of kicking going on, I think, and it, was, it seemed at some stage it was a bit fruitless, but uh, there is a certain game plan that players need to stick to also. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, if you, even if you have a look at the New Zealand game, there was a lot of kicking, but... Uh, the, the coaches have obviously done a lot of analysis and everything and they they give the players a, a plan and I, I actually feel sorry for the nines and unfortunately in the New Zealand game it was fuff and today again it was fuff um, and you know you, you set up in a certain certain manner to kick now you've got no other option to run or play mm. um, your only option is to kick and um, Faf is getting the brunt of everything, but there's a plan, and I still do believe that this plan is correct for the conditions in Japan. Um, the ball, it's wet, it's humid, um, it's, it's probably easier to play when it's raining. Mm. Uh, so, so I think Rassi and the, the the entire team have the right game plan. I think our defense is is starting to click at the moment. Yes, it's a rush defense, and we're making reads and all that type of stuff. Um, but at the same time. Just, just back the boys, uh, yeah. especially from on, on the on the social media side. Mm-hmm. I, I really believe that, yeah, South African public expect the the Springboks to win all the time. But if you if you have a look at our record this year, the boys have done extremely well. We have one bad game, and all of a sudden, um, the whole country's up in arms because we're kicking so much. Yet the game plan hasn't really changed much since we've since we've started playing. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Stephanie, I think and you get that as well on stage, as an actress, as a singer, oh, as a performer. Yeah. You get that. At one, not so not that you ever have a bad show or a bad... Uh, no, trust me, we do. <laughs> Sometimes you just wear the wrong dress okay. and... Uh, How dare you? Yes. So it's so interesting what you're saying because it can be related across all fields mm. um, in every industry. Yeah. I mean, you're told what to say, you're told how to look mm. and... I, I guess it's exactly the same in rugby, and I never thought of it like that. For yeah. me, I just look at a lot of guys playing, <laughs> but actually there's a game plan, yes. and they have to go according to that. Mm. And then the, the audience in my in my field would go at you, and mm. they they forget that behind that there's a person. Mm. Yes, I'm a rugby player or I'm an actress, yeah. but behind that I'm still Stephanie. And it, is, it does, and it does. You feel yeah, it, it does, in a bit. Yeah, we're does. not we're not robots. Right? Yes, mm. yes. And I mean, if you're told this is the plan, this is what we're going to do, it's either you stick to it, mm. whether good or bad, and you continue, or you divert from it, yeah. and you're kicked off. Yeah. So I think that's the risk. Absolutely. I think it's tough for the boys. You know, no, nobody plays to lose. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Every, every, yeah. Everybody runs on the pitch and trying his utmost best with a with a coach that you believe gives you the inside lane on a on a on a good game plan. This is a game book. Doing the analysis. And nobody plays to lose. Yes. But 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 you know you know when when I retired from rugby and, and Ross will be there in a, in a few years. You know, I promised myself I'll, I'll never be a couch coach, and and, yeah. and, 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 and because you know, there's there's a little bit of a, a thing going on, especially old rugby players. You know, in my days when yeah. I played for yeah. oh, half <laughs> a lemon or a half a orange juice or whatever the case might be, you know, so, for right leg was so yeah. 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 yeah, so yeah. so 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 I, I promised myself I'll never be one of those those guys. You know, so I always back the boykies. Even though they make silly mistakes. But Richard, yeah, you have you to know, admit, sometimes you know, it's difficult. You see there's a three-on-one <laughs> three one, one overlap and a, and a grade two can pass that ball that'll, that'll stick, you know. <laughs> so, so, so it drives you nuts. But, but, but being there, you understand the pressure. But the expectation is there. And, and, and the fact of the matter, it's a, it's a win. And we back the boys and For we'll sure. back them to bits. And, and that's the way it should be. And, and it should be like that from every South African. For sure. Exactly. It's, it's World Cup. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you know what? The, the, the boys are over there at the moment. They've got a job to do. They've yes. got to go win us a World Cup. Yes. You know, they've got to make a, a, an, an entire country proud. As, as South African supporters, they, they just need to hear the positive. Get positive thoughts going through their minds. Yeah. Get, lift them up. Like, thinking about it now, it makes me a bit excited. I yeah. actually want to jump on the plane <laughs> and head over there with the boys. But it's it's just, as South Africans, we've got to back the boys. Yeah. And yeah, none of this negative stuff. Well, it's, sure. it's, it's, it's like we said now earlier, you know, you can do two, ten things good. Yeah. And you screw up one Once. thing. Yeah. And they will hang you on the right cross. On they will nail you on that on that one mistake that you make. Guys, rugby is, rugby is about making mistakes as well. No. Nobody's perfect. But but being sitting on the couch and being a coach, you know, and playing for your tenth team in high school, don't judge that guy. Yeah. Just back him. Yeah. Back him because you're proud of being South African. Don't judge him. Yeah. And I think that's a message that we need to get through to the people. I think yeah, that's important. We I need to we need to stay in that yeah. spirit of positivity. Yeah. Growing up in Cape Town, I didn't the only time I would watch rugby was because there was a braai. And Which is every night, I suppose. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of music and partying and yeah. then silence for that 90 minutes when the game is on and everybody's excited. But I used to follow whoever won. <laughs> so you, fo if, you, uh, you voted you're for you're rugby? A big, you're a big bull supporter, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> hey, see what you no, no, I'm maybe, maybe when you play. <laughs> I'm from Cape Town, so I'll leave it there. <laughs> okay. Still was all the way, Also I blue, suppose. but wrong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so, but now that I understand the game. It's so exciting to actually back the boys and believe in them no matter what. Because yeah. they need that, as you said. They need that. And it's Rugby World Cup. And I assume that you guys are thinking we've got a realistic chance of, of, of taking this taking this World Cup home. Definitely. Um, I'm 100% backing the boys. I, I expect uh, uh, South Africa, New Zealand final. Oh, beautiful. And yeah. what, I mean, those are the two, two best teams in the world. There's, there's no better 
better rivalry in world rugby. So, yeah. yeah, you've got the likes of England and Wales and Ireland who are playing great rugby at the moment. But I, I truly believe that it's going to be a South Africa New Zealand final. Great stuff. Richard, you th I, th I assume you, like you said, you're backing the boys, so we're going yeah, to do this. Look, guys, I think it's the first time in, 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 a, in a long time where we have a good 10 or 12 forward players that's, that's there on merit, that's there because they took the opportunities and that can really demolish the other guys. And I think that's why the Italians pull it. Pulled a, a soccer stunt today, yeah. you know, faking a hammy and, and all that <laughs> crap, you know. <laughs> so, so, so I'm confident that we have the forwards. Yeah. If you look at our scrums, our line-out malls, we're good, we're tactical, we, we're strong. Our shape is good. Our tail is a little bit longer on, on, on the, on the line-out drives. So I, I think we're good there. And, and that's where rugby starts. You know, and giving chaps like these that snappy around the corner, yeah. running around the corner, corner, he's going to feed them and, and, and playing the tunnel or whatever the case might be. So I think it's the first time where we, when we can say we've got a pack to, to, yeah, to from, match the other mm. guys. Maybe you can fill in on the back. From, from, from a back's point of view, I mean, if everybody's going crazy about Cheslin. That guy can step you in a, in a phone booth. So, mm -hmm. yeah, he's, he's incredible. <laughs> You've got the likes of Fluff the Clack. I mean, just let the guy play his natural game. Yeah. He's an unbelie unbelievable player, one of, one of my very good friends. Um, then you've got Pollard. He's, he's an absolute general. He takes control of every single situation. You've got, you've got um, Damien, Damien at 12, mm. who, who, can, he, who can play um, the physical game or he can, he's got a lot of skill at the same time. So he can put guys, guys away, at, um, which is incredible. And, and then you, you have a look at our outside backs, yep. speedsters, um, mm. and exciting. Like, I, when, when last did you guys see uh, wings, wings like that? I mean, it was when Habana was playing, yeah. uh, yep. that type of pace. It's excitement. Yeah, yep. we, we've got finishers, which just give them the ball, give them a little bit of space and, and watch what they can do. We had a bit of a discussion now. Is, would, would Ross be able to tackle Richard in his prime? I mean, it, it's, I think, uh. what do you think? Full speed. Only because I'm very intimidated by this yeah. big gentleman over yeah. here, I would say no, he would never be able to. Ross, but you seem pretty confident you would. Easy game. <laughs> not even... Not even. E easy game. Him and his prime, me and my prime, yeah. which was two, three years ago. I you're think. still no, in your prime. You are in your prime. No, you're still no, I'm, I'm still in my prime, but yeah. No, um, listen, if he ran straight at me, that's, that's the biggest mistake that forwards make. If he ran on this shoulder or that shoulder, different story. He would run through me every single <laughs> day of the week. But yeah, if he runs straight at me, makes my life a lot easier. Richard, yeah. what do you think? Sure. I never run straight at me. <laughs> <laughs> that we know. I from always you. go for the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> or the corner, or, or yeah. sidestepping the fly. Yeah, yeah the, the, the funny thing is, I've got a twin brother. And um, yeah. so when we were younger, my dad, uh, he, he was he was quite hard on us and growing up, but um, hard but fair and everything like that. And he taught us how to tackle guys twice our size. So he literally would grab a ball and run run at yeah, us when we, when we were the age of six years old. <gasps> so he would, he, but, but he would teach us these di different techniques yeah. and and everything. And that's I think why. The only reason why I think I could manage to to take him down, but yeah. other than that, look, guys, I rate Ro Ro Ross very highly, you know. So, so um, I'm sure he could. Yeah. But watching that 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 try that he scored, where Barnes Carlos Spencer, Carlos Spencer was uh, <laughs> makes me makes me doubt myself. But you know, you, as soon as you doubt yourself, that's when you're in big trouble. No, for sure. Yeah, but but you know, the story behind that is 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 earlier that year in, in the Super 12 when we played. Um, I was folding around the corner against the Blues and they were attacking and, and, and Carlos was running straight at me. And it's just that off the shoulder pass, Dougie Howlett in the mix, scoring under the post. And as he turned around, I said, I passed you on the left, mate. <laughs> so, so it was just to even it, you know. Yeah, so I think that's, that's got, important. It's one all, you know. Yeah. Absolutely. There's, there's always a thing between the forwards and the backs, you know, who's got whose ticket, you know. So, so. Well, you got his ticket. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, I think that that, that, that's, that will always stay one nil. Exactly. <laughs> it. Guys, we I think we we've been building up. Uh, even though it was uh, probably 
maybe a bit uh, scratchy here and there, if I if, if I can use a word like that. Uh, but it is it is almost quarterfinals time. We're going into into the game with Canada now. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, will we be able to to build on this? Call it momentum. Uh, and how do you see the Canada game going? Yeah, look, uh, it's there's no easy game anymore in in, yeah. in rugby. Uh, it doesn't matter who you're playing. If you don't rock up on the day, it's going to be a tough day. We should win it uh, comfortably, I might add. But um, if your mindset's not right, it's it's going to be it's going to be one of those days. But yeah, my prediction: I reckon the boys will take it 58-10. Well, wow. yeah, purely. I'm giving them 10 in case there's an intercept pass or something yeah. like that. But <laughs> That's yeah, the only and, 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 and a penalty. Uh, but yeah. Uh, 58 10. That's a, that's, a, that's a fairly confident prediction. Richard, you want to maybe. Yeah, yeah. Look, you know, the guy, the most dangerous guys is the guys that's playing who's got nothing to lose. Yeah. You know, so we're talking about the smaller unions just now. And you're now you're talking about not smaller countries, but amateur countries. You know, although Canada and America, you know, look like there's some, you know, some something's going to happen, but I think it's still going to take some time, you know, eating the, really the, the top ranks of rugby. If you look at uh, the All Blacks, you know, 63-0, no, uh, they were lucky to get null, no, I suppose. You know, yeah. so, so yeah. That, that, that is a, yeah. it's a, it's a rugby lesson of note, playing against the best in the world. Uh, you want to just uh, give us an actual solid prediction? <laughs> Putting on the spot, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 50 0. 50 0. That's a, that's a beautiful Look, score. Look, our defense is 50 good, you know. Okay. Gotta, so uh, there's no intercept try going nah, there. Nah. 50 0. <laughs> Stephanie, what do you think is going to be fair? What's going to be fair, Ben? By a fair, but what's your prediction, Leon? <laughs> okay, so now I need to go first. <laughs> I'm going to go 47 now. This, every time, actually, it's just thumb sucking, obviously. We never. But actually, 47 6. That's mine. But where, where, where are we headed at? I'll say 109. Jammel. 109. Okay, no idea awesome. what that means. Geele I love drie, it. Geele drie penalties. You get three penalties. That's precise. No try for them. I can not drink. Yeah, you can. I love okay. it. I love it. <laughs> That's confidence. 109. Well, that will be official. I love it. So we've given our predictions now. It's time to give yours. You can go into the comment section here below. Give your score prediction for the box game against Canada. And the first closest guest will win that amazing Mega Master Granite Edition gas bride to the value of 7999. Now remember, even if you don't win that, you can still win when the box score. The box scored 49 points against Italy, which means you will get a 49% discount on selected Mega Master products from their website, megamaster.ca.za. So head over there right now. Those products go fast, I promise you. So I think it's time that you uh, do a little song for us. Well, I'll join you, but... Oh, awesome. Oh, okay. Such a dream come true to see with you, Leon. Oh, please. <laughs> Just coincidental <laughs> that you've got a guitar. Hey, yeah. wow. 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 That 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 <laughs> it was lying there the whole time, and I was like, well, let's see. I think let's take, uh, let's take uh, uh, the people back to 95. Oh, right? great memories. There's a
Stephanie Bartman. Leon Kraft. Ach, Werner. <laughs> and you guys were also ready with a... Boom. Boom. What boom. 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 Party up. <laughs> <laughs> um, just guys. First one made me want to put my boots on and go, yeah. go play a rugby game. And then I think if you sang that second one to the boys in Japan, that it would have just wanted them to come home. Flip. That was yes, incredible. Man. Well done, man. Ah, thank you, guys. Uh, everybody's reading about struggling artists, but surely it's not the two of you. So oh, well no. done. Nee, nee, nee. So I'm sure you're fully booked <laughs> for the next three years. Absolutely. Going for the next World Cup. <laughs> you know, A little good deal. Yeah, awesome. well done, you know? Thanks, well guys. Done. So that's it for a very fun-filled episode of Ahead of the Game, the Rugby World Cup 2019 prediction show brought to you by Mega Master. Remember to give those score predictions. We'll see you with the next episode.